Now let's start it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, loyal fans. Hello. Uh, All six of you. Uh, four, four All six of you. Us. <laughs> That's not true. Hi, two, two follower fans. Just, <laughs> just wait until the future happens, and we're gonna have fucking lots of followers, yeah. and they're gonna be like. What are you talking about? Six followers. Yeah, we and talk then, about six followers. I'll share your old videos, and it'll be a link to the past. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay. Well, hello. I am Gamer. I'm Gamer. And we are here with uh, Mel Beast again. Hey. And D Wizzle. Hi. Black Jesus. Gay no, Jesus. Gay Jesus. Sorry. We have a Black Jesus already. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, we're back with a Link to the Past after. Well, it doesn't seem like a long time for you guys, but it is a long time for us. It's been a long time since we had a recording it's session. Hot minute. Oh my god. It has. It has been a while. Um. <clears throat> So it's now Saturday. we're going to do the thing. No, I think since since we've oh. played. Link to the past. No, since we played a link to the past, it's <laughs> been like it's been like two weeks. <laughs> been a long time. So now we're going to hell. Just so you know, oh. up here, fucking. Oh. oh, this is my least favorite dungeon, literally out of the entire game. I'll stop. Just like that. Make a sweet sacrifice. You more making a sweet sacrifice. Yeah. I appreciated that. I make. Song references for like the people who you least want to get sued by. I really need to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> like they've got so much money. Don't wanna, don't wanna catch them. Gotta catch them all. Fairies. Fairies. Gotta trap them. Oh no. Fairies. You caught a fairy. fairy. I'm gonna eat the rest. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh god. Bitches. Hey, do you have bitches? They're bitches. Okay, so Lost Woods. Bitches. You know, those trees look like giant Deku scrubs. They do. Like old Jabba the Hutt looking Deku scrubs. Is money running important in this game? Yes. Yes. Everything in this game for some reason costs a fucking zillion dollars. Yeah. It's really annoying. Cause it's hard to find money in this game. Yeah. Like the fact that I have 831 rupees is okay, actually cool. pretty impressive. Freaking miracle. It kind of bums me out that Majora's Mask is the only Zelda game that gives you like a bank option. Like I would love to. Yeah. Be right. To, yeah, I would love Gosh. to be able to bank my rupees, like, and just put it in. You just save game. as much as you want. You start the world, and your bank, your money will still be there. Yeah, that, Which that is would be weird. That would be nice. I don't know how that worked. Like, I don't know why they didn't continue this? that after Majora's Mask. Wind Waker could have absolutely benefited from a bank system. But I guess that would have made oh it too gosh. easy. Is this where you get the shovel? I just remember being really frustrated in Wind Waker because you would get to the point where your wallet would be maxed out. Yeah. And then I kept finding big motherfucking, like, silver $100 rupees that just got burned, like, into oblivion, like, just setting money on fire. It's like, you don't get to have an option to come back with. That's something I really liked about Twilight Princess, is that if you had a full wallet, and... They put the money back in yeah, the Yeah, and if you opened a chest, it would be like... And it was so, it was so, like, courteous, too. It'd be like, but you can't fit this in your wallet. Let's put it back for now. And then you just gently close the lid of the chest, and you can come back to it later if you remember it. Would you have to do it for you have to like dig around for stuff, and I can't remember if that's where you get the shovel or not. I think that's a hard piece. Is that mini game? You totally might be right. Like, right I feel game. like I've, I've seen. This I recently. feel like any mini game you play in this game or any Zelda game, it's always for a hard piece. Most of the time, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm, this is not one that I'm super confident on, but I believe that all of the items are dungeon items, and that everything else is like a hard piece or a big thing you're talking about. Yeah. Most most of the items are dungeon items. There's very few of them that you get. Yeah, I mean, like the, the net, obviously. Well, the net is. Um, That's dungeon yeah, items, was... dungeon item, dungeon item. Pick up. Not dungeon. Not dungeon. Not dungeon. Dungeon. Not dungeon. Not dungeon. Not dungeon. Not dungeon. Uh, all that. balls. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna leave that because I'm gonna accidentally. Re release the fairy and then I'm really mad. And I hate navigating the dark world too because it's all fucking dumb. At least it's not fucking <laughs> the dark world and Link Between Worlds. I hate that. I 
<laughs> no, like, yeah, I <laughs> He's like, how dare you no, come out? Like, like, I like, I liked smiling. it, but like, I hated how it's broken up. And I'm like, I don't want to travel back and forth and yeah. see this damn cutscene of him flipping back and forth. That you don't want to travel crazy. across the land searching for me. I caught them all, okay? <laughs> I caught them all! Wrong franchise. You caught them, okay? <laughs> Fuck. I saw, oh my god, I saw this thing today on a Tumblr, probably knowing me, and it was a sprite sheet for like all of the you know, 10,000 current Pokemon, whatever, right. like, up till Gen 6, so it shows, like, the entire full sprite sheet, and then at the bottom, someone drew Rick and Morty, like, in the Pokemon style, and, <laughs> and Rick's like, Morty, you gotta catch them all, Morty, and Morty's like, oh god, that's a lot! <laughs> <laughs> it really made me laugh, like, that's that was really, whoever put that together, my hat is off, that, that earned, like, a, an out loud, real life laugh from me, <laughs> really made my day. Anything Rick and Morty usually is gonna just have me in stitches. Oh my god, shit. it's a top uh, <laughs> It's a bee. It's an obnoxious bee. Oh my gosh, it might be the gangster bees for the dream. <laughs> what? You just had a dream about gangster bees? Awesome. Look, actually... You really started fucking piss me off. Okay. Alright, so this dream was actually a zombie dream. And, like, the road was ending, and. Like, like the world be... turned to like a deep a sepia tone. And I'm trying to get home, and in my way are like these obnoxious, like, 1950s monster gangster bees. Who, like, I go <laughs> through an alley, and apparently I'm on their turf, and so then they start following me. Were they like the Donkey Kong bees? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, like. You were playing too much Donkey Kong. Actually, I've <laughs> <laughs> I actually never played that until I started playing with y'all. You got that bee anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> they haunt your dreams. So then I'm running away from them and then I see zombies. So then I start running away from them too. And I end up in my aunt and uncle's house. And the only person that saves us is my cousin who has Down syndrome. Which oh, for some reason was thing. like a different turn of events than I was expecting. Because he wasn't afraid of the zombies or the bees. Because I'm not hey, sure in I my dream I could physically be a bit of them. But I was hiding like above a cabinet. Like hoping the cabinet didn't fall. <laughs> I had an incredibly stressful dream the other night that shouldn't have been, but like it like when I say it out loud now it's gonna have nothing to do with like attacking zombies or bees or anything. I had a dream that me and some buddies of mine in high school, it was like three guys I remember, like this is back in the teenage days. This is also how you can tell I've been having too much McDonald's lately. In my dream, the four of us, there were only four of us, went to McDonald's and somehow spent $400. Oh, good God. It was, I don't know what the hell brought this on. Because part of the dream was that uh, I remember, like, God. looking at the receipt and being Enemies like, in the lost world are in the dark world are, like, shit. fucking OP. They're very annoying. But, like, you know how in a dream, like, you can't... You know, you can know you're looking at writing or a map or something, but it doesn't actually logically make sense because you're in a dream. Like, you can't actually read in a dream. I've heard it said, and I'm, I, I don't know, my anecdotal experience, I guess, backs that up. Uh -huh. But in this particular one, like, I remember, because there were just four of us, and, like, I think we each got, like, a meal or whatever, and, like, somehow, for whatever reason, it added up to $400. And then the whole dream was me trying to understand, first, why and how like and the cashier was not being helpful and she was like well, that's what you ordered and i'm like I, I just don't i don't think that's possible like <laughs> that means we each spent on average a hundred dollars but we each got like one meal and then i think like there were some community nuggets to share it should have been 50 bucks tops this was really upsetting this was a terrible dream so then it turns into this whole thing where like my stupid friends like well we left that was part of the thing, is in the confusion, we left with the food without paying, and then I felt bad. Like, in my dream, I was like, we gotta go back. Like, oh, they're, gonna, <laughs> they're gonna find us. Like, there's security camera footage or something. Like, they got our license plate number. They're gonna know it's us. There's gonna be consequences. Let's just go back and give McDonald's their money. And they're like, oh, there's no reason. And I was like, oh, my God, you guys, this is not worth the consequences. Let's just do it. And then, like, they wouldn't. I was trying to figure out like who spent money on what, and then, 
Oh god. It's hilarious now, but in the dream I was so mad. Like, the closer I looked at the receipt, I started seeing all this stuff that, like, wasn't food. It was just really expensive shit that my stupid friends bought. Like, there was, like, a $75 Fabergé egg. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, yeah, what? Yeah, like, my friend, like, my real-life friend, like, Tyler, like, in the dream. I was like, Tyler, why did you get that $75 Fabergé egg? And he was like, well, it was marked down from 300 I thought it was a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, did you go in there wanting a Fabergé egg? He's like, no, I just wanted a Big Mac. <laughs> I'm like, well, you have to pay for it now. Like, you left the store with it. And now I'm trying to make the situation right, and they now they're asking me for the $75. And he's like, alright, we'll just go ahead and get them to take it off the check. And I'm like, well, give me the egg back. Like, I have to return it. So, wow. things quickly spiraled out of control in the dream. And then the next thing I knew, I was on, I'm not making this up, I was on, like, a private jet with, like, the CEO of McDonald's. Cause like, well they were in the middle of something, like while I was trying to get this all fixed, and they were like, alright, just get on the plane and we'll, we'll deal with your problem while we're also doing our own thing. And I was like, okay. So like I get on the plane, and it's like the CEO of McDonald's and then like a bunch of shareholders and stuff, and like one of the, this like really, really rich guy had like a little like rich person with like through fru dog with him and he was like i was i was getting like really upset at this point in the dream because also like i knew my food was getting cold i hadn't gotten, <laughs> i hadn't gotten to eat yet <laughs> and i was like well, i need to get this taken care of before i can eat otherwise i'm gonna feel bad and i woke up like cold sweating like furious hungry annoyed <laughs> like upset <laughs> Ryan's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me some time to like not be pissed off anymore. See, at least my dream about running away from gangster beings. Like, I ended up Fuck. becoming a tree person, and then getting to the middle of like a metropolitan city area, and playing the guitar in a rock band, which killed the zombies and cured everybody. That's I much think you walk. I think you really got into uh, Mad Max. <laughs> oh, with the no, that was no, that was a long time ago. Uh, like, that dream was back living with my parents in my teenage oh, yeah. years. Yeah. Well, Mad Max had that. Was, yeah, there's like, a game that Xbox Live had called Dead Block, and one of the things to kill the zombies was to play the guitar over like. A loudspeakers and it would make the zombies like thrash out and go crazy like, mm -hmm. until they killed each other. So, it's pretty scary. Yeah. Oh, man. so is there is there an actual dungeon or is it just the woods itself? There it is. No, there's an actual dungeon and it just takes like five million years. That's to right. Find, we found find it, it along with the big chest because. Well, this is where it gets convoluted, and I'll show you when we get there. Yeah, there's a couple different ways to get in and out of this place. Oh, no. It's weird, because I've been watching and playing Link Between Worlds, Fuck. which is similar enough that I'm like, oh yeah, I know where we are, but not at all, actually. Yeah. Let's go to the map. Here's the map. Here's the map. Here's the map. Oh, boy. Oh, those little green dude. Yep. Yeah, man. And um, also, this uh, dungeon will give you serious anxiety because there's also a hand that falls from oh, the ceiling yeah, periodically. Yeah, 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 I love those guys. The four masters or the four masters or... What's the difference masters. between the two? The... They're both hands. They're both masters. One like... of them is just on the ground and it'll float towards you and grab you. But it won't take you out of the screen. The one that falls down is the one that takes you out of the screen. Yeah, because I, I never played this Zelda when I was a kid. I mean, obviously I've played it since. But I remember when I played Ocarina, and I got to the Forest Temple for the very first time, and one of those things came at me. Like, and it's halfway through the temple, and you don't know they exist yet. It's the first yeah. time you encounter that boss. Well, that enemy. 
and my god, did I scream. <laughs> yeah, this thing was, <laughs> it was scary. It was terrifying. Like, it was very, very upsetting. Like, I had just kind of gotten over the whole re-head thing. Right? And then you have to worry about some fucking yeah. head coming out from the ceiling. Ocarina scared the shit out of me. Like, the like like scared me. I, I was oh, not nice. a fan of those things. It was just the noise that they made, that really gross, like, undulating. Yeah, it sounds like you would imagine, like, the inside of a human body sounds like. Just Ugh. Organs pumping and nasty. Gross. Nasty. <sighs> yeah, that's gross. Okay. I'm really not paying very close attention to what's happening. <laughs> well, we're in the temple. We're getting there. Well, no, like, I just... Uh, this this whole dungeon is just really stupid. Like, I see what they were trying to do. They were like, let's make it difficult. But I'm like, look, you made pretty much the entire <laughs> game difficult. I remember... Really, they, they definitely improved this dungeon in, like, Between Worlds. It was a lot easier to navigate, I, I feel. I don't really remember. There's, like, in this one, there's, like, a bunch of different... Um, places that you have to go into, like there's this place you have to go into to actually get the little mini small keys, and then there's all the fucking bosses, enemies do too much fucking damage, and you don't get the blue mail until you get to the ice dungeon, and they take 500 million hits to die. I think there's there's one there's a weapon that works well against the bunnies. I want to say it's the well, the hook shot doesn't. The fire? Yeah, maybe it's yes, yeah, the fire rod. It is the fire rod. You're well, right. that's what we get in this dungeon. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, arrows don't work either. So that's one. Ice thing. rod? No. I'm, I don't think I'm like ninety-nine percent sure it's the fire rod killed them in one hit. There you go. Because they're wrapped in paper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, fire beats paper. Yeah. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly what I was gonna say. And if we have the sound on, it would be better because you can hear like the yeah. falling sound right before it comes for you. It gives you a warning. You cunt. No. Bitch. There you go. And that's the killer. It doesn't ever come back. No, it does. What? It yes. takes a little longer, but it does come back. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to fucking position this goddamn statue because you can't push it over the button. You have to pull it over the button. Uh... But you have to, uh, the door's right there. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> exercise and frustration. <laughs> Fucking. Can you bomb them? Like, will that take them out? I'm sorry. No, but you know what they can take out? Fucking patience. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why can't I fucking get around this fucking statue? Statue be a good boy. Statue skinny. Oh! Oh! The age, man. <laughs> wow. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Be deep. Go to your happy place. My happy place is any place where this dungeon doesn't exist. <laughs> Maybe it's time for next time on. It's next time. Next, Someone else can fucking deal with this. Because I'm about to fucking punch through this screen. <laughs> We're going to take a nice little breathing breather. And come on on back. You fucking suck! Okay, bye. <laughs> Goodbye.